everyone. Welcome once again to Cooking with Tita. Today I would like to share my ceviche recipe with Mingo. So come on, cook with Tita, and let's go to our ingredients. Two cups of white fish. You can use cod, halibut, flounder, any white firm fish, white fish, okay? So I have two cups of this, and I chunked it up like this. And then what I did, I marinate this fish with white vinegar. You have to marinate this two hours, okay? Put your white vinegar, kind of uh, press it down, and let the vinegar cover the fish. Now, I may add that this fish was frozen, okay? So that's that. Oh, by the way, you need a big um, bowl to mix all your ingredients, okay? So that's two cups, right? Over here, I have well, probably two cups or whatever amount you want to put in there. Uh, this is imitation crab. And over here, this is a little shrimp, also frozen, pre-cooked, okay? So I already washed that and clean. So that's that. And we need either black or white paper. This is a picante clamato juice. I like to put the picante, it means it's spicy. There is uh, one also that you can buy at store, it's not spicy. I am going to start with half a cup of clamato juice, okay? Salt. Now I'm using Himalayan salt, the pink salt. You can use any salt if you want white or whatever, okay? Now we have two tomatoes, two to three lemon. We're gonna need about half a cup of this juice, okay? One teaspoon of dill, two jalapenos, and red radish. It's already uh, clean, as I told you. I always clean my vegetable before cutting, okay? And I have about, we'll say about one cup of cilantro, fresh, okay? Of course, fresh is better. And I don't know if I told you, I have one mango and large onion, red, that is. One English cucumber. I'm going to chop this up small dice okay so i'll see you then after i get done chopping with all of my ingredients okay all right guys this is how i diced or chop my ingredients small dice this is the three jalapenos and our onions and our tomatoes cucumber the red radish and the mango and so on and so forth, okay? So anywho, up to you guys how much of this you want to put in your ceviche. Of course, if you have a lot of meat, you need a lot of, you know, vegetable. So that's up to you, okay? Now, we're going to dice our uh, cilantro, about a cup. That's all we need. And don't throw away your thing. Remember, I like to save all my um, um, vegetable cutting because I use that for vegetable stock, okay? So anyhow, this is one cup. We're going to put it in here, all right? And we're putting all of our ingredients into one big bowl. All of our chop up meat and I chopped up my um, crab meat yeah big okay see all right so now we're going to put our fish now we're going to put our lemon in there okay I wanted to show you um, the trick the reason why I didn't do this yet because I wanted to show you the trick of the lemon. If your lemon, it's hard, 
kind of roll them into your chopping board so that it would be soft thin like like so right you will get the most juice out of it that's the purpose by the way so that's that is the reason why i would like to show it to you that is my tip for today you see you see how um nice and juicy that is and then i would just juice it like that like so oh by the way this dish is good for appetizer or side dish and um this is good uh with uh tostadas and this is good when you have party okay that's that okay so let's um put our dill in here dill it's really good now we're going to put our salt in here now salt is up to you the white paper and if you don't have a white paper you can also use black pepper to taste okay now clamato this is yummy we're going to put one cup or more because or less it depends upon how much ingredients you have of course right so we are going to start with one cup okay like so and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix it together oh my goodness guys oh my goodness the cilantro everything that we put in there the cilantro tomato oh my goodness oh i'm, I'm starting to draw I, I tell you the truth i am starting to draw okay shout out to my friend in california when i used to live there for 20 almost 27 years i have a friend of mine my neighbor who taught me this her name is rita and anna anna rita reina angel that's her kids you know shout out to you guys thank you for teaching me how to do this okay for me the more picante the better <laughs> picante means spicy you know me spicy okay so anywho okay so now it's already blended guys let's taste this we got the fish we got oh man oh man look look what happened guys it blended so well okay now let's taste mm -mm -mm, guys that's so divine oh my gosh oh my goodness we do not eat anymore everything is hunky dory let me get some tostadas this is the um tostadas this one is the little one this one is chili with lemon picante in other words spicy with lemon and this one is just regular all right check this out guys see this okay now if you have a party you can just put them in a uh, dishes all they have to do guys is go like this like that and guys uh-huh mm -mm -mm. oh my goodness guys I shared my ceviche recipe with you. I hope you guys like my recipe. Enjoy. And I will see you again, guys, when you cook with Tita right here in my kitchen. As I always say, bon appetit. Bye, guys.